Hello, my friends. Good morning. <laughs> Let me switch off the, the sound. Let me switch off the sound. Yeah, on top you see the Wilsonton R8. <laughs> yeah, I often spin this thing, play this thing, you know. Especially when, I, when I'm testing stuff and I already have the speaker wires on this side of the room. I, I pick my Wilsonton because I love the sound of that Wilsonton R8. But I will not make it my main amplifier because of the 152 watts it sucks out of the socket. So, some, every time I'm testing stuff over here, I place the Wilsonton for a few days and I'm playing the Wilsonton. The beautiful round tube sound. Beautiful thing it is. And this video. This video, my friends. <laughs> this video. Yeah, this video. Let me place the cam over here on the Wilson Ton. So I hope it will not scratch the Wilson Ton because I want to keep it intact. Uh, okay, I cannot. So this video, my friends. This video is a very important video because um, me and Simon. We tested those uh, those BMWs uh, Matrix 802 Series 3. A lot of you know what kind of speakers they are. Terrific sounding speakers. Beautiful sounding speakers. Tight bass. Really fantastic speakers. They I did VS test. Yeah, me and Simon. In both me and Simon's. Yes, these speakers. It is early in the morning, so and my and my voice is still not good from that corona. Yeah, it's okay. I can't wait any longer to make videos. Yes, my hands were, you know, I have to make those videos for you. Uh, me and Simon, we had both. Uh, they, they, all these videos were are already uh, made, but I have to edit them, and they will come out slowly in the coming weeks. Uh, the hate goes in both our eyes, one from those BMWs, but that, that is all the sound wise, they are equal. It all depends what is your taste. Yeah, and the BMWs are more laid back, the bass is very tight. Um, yeah, it's not, a, it's not a speaker, it's a speaker you can, can hear for hours, hours. Uh, you will not get tired in your ears. This, these are the BMWs. Um, we did several VS tests, and then we did a test with the speaker. I have a long time. I will not say the name now. Also, you can ask me, but I will not answer you. Which speaker they are? You can guess, but even if you guess right, I will not tell you that you guessed right. I have these speakers for a long time. And I never did serious VS tests with them. And then I thought, well, take the speakers out. You know, they are not even top of the line of that series. But take those speakers out and just place them between the Wilson Ton or the 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 the, <laughs> the BMW and the Heiko. And guess what? You know, in, in, so me and both Simons, yes, yeah, and believe me, the guy is 22 years, but he, Simon knows what he talks about, yeah, he know he knows his stuff, and uh, because sometimes, you know, when I would, would have sit alone in this room, and I would have discovered this, I would not trust my ears, I think, well, no, no, this is, this, this is impossible. How can speakers costing between 100 at the moment, between 100 and 175 euro, can beat the BMW's Matrix 802 Series 3 and come close, but very, very, very close to those uh, hey, coach the new or the statement. Hey, coach the statement. Cost both both speakers, the BMW and the Hey, coach, cost at the moment second hand fifteen hundred euro. So I will not say a name because <laughs> also Simon 
Simon will try to score now a few of those sets. I try now to score a few of those sets because we we were sitting both here and you know we we discussed this when we we tested these speakers with every kind of because you know we wanted we wanted to be sure we tested these speakers with all kind of music in a VS setup so VS the Heikos VS the BMWs but the conclusion didn't change they are in the middle so in in, in, in my view and in Simon's view they are in the middle between the BMW and the Heikos and uh, sound wise I think they should cost at the moment sound wise about 1000 euro because yeah yeah my friends I mean I have now two top speakers yeah I never had two top speakers in my house never and uh, <laughs> so you can have a pretty good image yeah the BMW that is a you can say it's a girl speaker it's a girl speaker it is a modern girl speaker because the GBL L100 and the GBL 4033-12A with the 4312A and more of those GBL speakers they are all girl speakers yeah, there are not many cult speakers around, but there are a few cult speakers. But the BMW Matrix is one of those, yeah. But it is a more modern cult speaker because it's not that old 1990, 1990, 1992. It's a beautiful sounding speaker, my friends. Round. Uh, I mean, I love that sound, but I cannot keep them all. I can. Price-wise, I, I, I was lucky to score them. You saw the scoring video. I scored them cheap. I was a lucky guy. But I even didn't shave myself to make this video because well, as soon as I wake up, I make my coffee, you know, drink it, and I'm, I start making this video because mm, I'm now replying for some guys and telling this story what I discovered. So I think, you know, I don't want to reply anymore this same story. I want... I make a video so everybody knows now what I discovered. So I, me and Simon, we were both Simon. Simon reaction was how? How can that? How can that? This is the big eyes, you know, watching me, I watching him, and how is this possible? So in these three days he was in my house. It was very fruitful, fruitful, because probably without Simon, when he I would not have made those VS tests because, but, but he was strong enough uh, to bring those. He even brought speakers from 40 kilo. He scored some new speakers. Um, he scored um, uh, Magnat 09s. He brought them. He brought them uh, uh, from upstairs to here 40 kilo each. And I, I mean, come on, my 40 kilo speakers, no, 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 no. But but he was strong enough and willing to to want to hear them against the against the Heikos and the uh, and the BMWs. So uh, without Simon, I probably would not have discovered this. Yeah, because it was just well, fun, a funny video. Let's do a VS test between these speakers. Unbelievable what we discovered. Speakers costing. Sometimes you can find it for, for 75 euro in the Netherlands. Between 75 and 150, 175 euro. They cost at the moment in the Netherlands. And um, they beat actually the BMWs. And they came very, but very close. They came so close that in fact it has no use to keep the Hecos. That's why I'm now doubting to sell them. But yeah, they are a piece of furniture. They are much more beautiful. They are better, but you know, the Hakos wins sound-wise in both our views. Yeah. But my friends, is it worth keeping the Hakos 1500 euro while you have almost, almost the same sound? I already have it in my house, but if you don't have that sound, you know I have to buy those speakers, you can have them between 100 and 150 euro. 
And <laughs> so, you know, sometimes I tell you, I always tell you, when you see the price of speakers, then you know exactly if they are good or not, the second-hand price. But for some reason, for some reason, this speaker, and we discussed, me and Simon discussed this, this speaker, why it is this cheap. Because bigger brothers from that same series, the biggest brother, the biggest brother from that series, sounds worse than that speaker. So this speaker was a unicum, probably also in in this series. Yes, it is a unicum, and uh, because my friends, it is unbelievable, 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 uh, and it is, you know, once 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 this video is out, uh, people are going to hunt for this speaker. People are going to hunt for this speaker because. Uh, People watch my videos. I, I am I am an influencer, yeah. And um, some some of you don't believe me if I say do not buy the GBR 100 because of uh, it is a studio monitor. It doesn't have dynamic. Stay away from them for your living room use. If you have a studio or you are a producer, I I think that people uh, think that studio monitors are better than living room studio monitors because they are professional. The the name studio monitor, some people in some persons, in a lot of people, not a some, a lot of people's mind, I also had the same thing when I was younger, or even a few years ago I had the same thing, well studio monitors are professional, so they have to be better than the normal living room speaker, yeah? I had that same thought. But studio monitor is not a better speaker. Yeah, it is a better speaker for the studio, but it will not make you happy in the living room. And if you have the, the feeling that you have the best speaker and it beats some good hi-fi speakers from the same amount, same money, and you say, oh, but <laughs> uh, I mean, that those, these, these, uh, this, let me show you them. This, this, <laughs> this, this uh, BMWs Matrix A802. Yeah, beat every studio monitor, but every studio monitor from GBL, you know, and uh, by by a huge fraction, not a small fraction, by huge. My hair could a statement. Beat every studio monitor by a huge fraction, and you know. But that's my opinion. You know, maybe you like that studio uh, uh, monitor, but it's not the way how studio uh, uh, or, or hi-fi speakers, living room speakers, should sound. If you like studio monitors, you will also do not like tube amplifiers, because tube amplifiers are have a big distortion, much bigger than a a analytic, you have the, those analytics uh, studio uh, amplifiers. For example, the Bryston I had here, Bryston. I love that sound, that, uh, but they were connected to warm speakers, living room speakers, my friends. And uh, the combination was terrific. Yeah, I sold those brought that Bryston uh, because of the ugliness, but I now regret it a little bit. Because the sound, my friend, of that price was beautiful, 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 and now I'm trying to to buy it back. But my uh, Samsung AU919 is now in in revision. John de Recht told me, well, not a problem. I can revise it for you. Or this, I told him, yes, a very difficult amplifier. But John is a very good amp a good repair guy, and he said, no, oh, not a problem. I repair for you. The only things. He can repair them. He, of course, he repaired them in the few, in, in the past. He told me I do not want to uh, repair those quadrophonic marans anymore because they it took so much time to. They are so complicated. It, he can he can he can repair them, but he told me they take they, they took so much time that in fact I should ask a double the price I ask now for reparation and 
uh, you don't you don't want to repair those 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 uh, uh, receivers anymore, those quadraphonic Marantz receivers. But he told me that AU 919 is not a problem at all. He will repair it in the way, the, in the best way, and uh, it will not cost me more than 400 euros. So I'm very happy with that. I mean. And that 919 probably can beat that Bryston in South. Because I still have that Bryston fresh in my head, my friends. But that's not the story. The, this video goes about... So I'm doing some things. I was sick, I was sick, you know, my, my throat. You can still hear it. But I'm still not 100%. I still have some pain in my ear over here. And But okay. But that discovery, my friends, that discovery... And I think I think it is the discovery of my lifetime. Me, yeah. me and Simon, we are both. I mean, speakers costing now 150 equal. You can say they are equal to that Heiko the statement and that BMW matrix. Unbelievable. All other speakers we tested here, what I had in my house. VS lost. They lost big. They lost big from those both of these speakers. Yeah. But for some reason, and I, it was just fun, you know. We didn't give these speakers a chance at all. It was, at, and we tested these speakers at the end. What speakers can we can we do more in the VS test? Okay, let's let's do these. Unbelievable, my friends. Unbelievable. And. <coughs> And uh, all, all I can say is that these speakers, you will not find them easy in America, but you can find them plenty, plenty in Europe. So that's the only thing I want to tell, but, but uh, the, the clue I will give you. Um, what more? You, you can ask me what you want. Even if you, because many of you, or a few of you, have my phone number. Don't phone me, do not app me and ask me because first I have to score a few of these speakers myself because I know after this video the price will go up. I mean, uh, they will go up, they, they have to go up minimum 300, 400 euro the pair, minimum. Uh, sound wise, they are worth minimum 1000. Unbelievable, these speakers. And they are, you can buy them now for 100, 150 euro. What I discovered. Also, I told you, I made a video, uh, best speakers on the 100 euro, that uh, uh, Technics SB4500. Technics SB4000, Technics SB5000. Those speakers are cheap, rare cheap in the Netherlands. You could buy them for around 50 euro. Uh, I had one pair in a set. 4500 and I had one pair I picked up for free and I told you that is a very nice sounding it is not sounding like a 1000 euro costing speaker but it is a very nice sounding if you like jazz you know and then it is a, it is not suitable for every music but it is very suitable if you like jazz and um, now I see prices 200, 250 euro, but they aren't worth 250 euro, my friends. Come on, they are good, very good speakers for 50 euro, 75 euro. But now they, I see people asking 150, 200 euro. I come on, man, they are not worth. But my new discovery, my new, my my latest discovery, that's nothing as a discovery from that. Technics SB4500. Probably the Technics SB4500 was underrated. Yeah, it was underrated. That's why they 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 went away for for, for 50 euros in the past, you know. And uh, you see here over here over here. Let me show you. Let me show it. And it is a mess in my in my house, my friends. But I don't care. You see here the tech the the Akais. Yeah. And I tested also these Akais and. Uh, and that is not a match. The guys, they are vintage, they are looking beautiful. 
and they sound hollow the, the bass the bass uh, i mean and uh, they 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 no they, these are vintage speakers like most vintage speakers i had in the past they do not sound nice yeah uh, they, they i mean those techniques sb five five thousand four thousand five hundred or four thousand uh, they sound much better yeah much much better beautiful sounding speakers little little techniques and they also those techniques are very old but sound wise they sound much better than for example this Akai and also those techniques and there I am again sounds better than those GBL L100s yeah and then you can think about me what I want but you want yeah but that's my opinion and uh, uh, I'm not here to make to quarrel with you, to upset you, and or because I'm a GBL hater. I'm not a GBL hater because some GBL speakers, my friends, I adore. For example, the XPL, the X, XPL. So XPL series are beautiful sounding GBLs, and you have more series, more good sounding GBL series. What are not made for the studio but for home use sound terrific. But stay away from those studio speakers, my friends. They are not suitable for living room use. But I want to end this video. So I make I made that, that new discovery. I made speakers equal equals you can say equal equal sounding to those GBL or a BMW Matrix speakers and my Heikos causing at the moment you can find them with, with a little bit of luck for 75 to 100 euro in the Netherlands also in Germany or the rest of Europe you know and I, 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 I was I, I tried to score two or three extra pair I mean it's my discovery it is my discovery so I want to take the fruits out of that so I will score a few more because in a couple of years the price will be minimum five hundred. It, 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 it would be crazy if they would not cost minimum five hundred euro the pair, because sound wise they are one thousand euro a pair. Thanks for watching this video. Put a thumbs up if you like it. And for now I say ciao ciao.